Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so grateful. In today's video, I wanted to discuss about people, how the people in our reality are our reflection and how they are malleable. This would also cover the manifestation concept of everyone as you pushed out. So first things first, we know um, if we are on this journey of conscious creation that we are creating our reality on a day-to-day -day basis in a moment-to-moment -moment basis. So it's not just the non-living objects and the materialistic things or the experiences that we are manifesting, but people are involved everywhere in a manifestation process, right? Even if you're trying to manifest non-living objects or experiences in that process for those things to come to you for that manifestation to play out in your physical reality there are people involved at every step which we tend to overlook unless we are trying to manifest a specific person we don't really realize that uh, not just in this process but everything we are manifesting in our lives involves people so you're not just creating your reality you're creating the people in your reality and that means the way they show up in your reality uh, including their behavior their characteristics the way they are with you the way they are in your presence everything is being created by you now what does this mean so because you know that your inner reality whatever you feel inside you to be true reflects in your outer reality so whatever the beliefs you hold inside you uh, that drive your emotions, behaviors and thoughts reflect in your outer world. So when you hold an assumption about people out there, be it anyone, be it someone you met just a few times and you have made an impression about them or someone you know um, for a long time, whether it's at your uh, workplace, your friends or your family, Whatever you assume them to be, however you expect them to show up as, that's how they are going to show up. That's how their behavior is going to be. That's how their conversations are going to be with you. And that's how they're going to make you feel. So a really good example of this would be, um, you would have noticed, actually this is something which everyone would have noticed, that uh, there are certain people uh, who are really, really liked by a group of people. And that same person is disliked by a few other people, right? Uh, there could be a lot of reasons. Um, they might seem really welcoming and approaching to this group, but then there's this other group of people that think that that person is not approachable or that person doesn't really have a nice vibe around them when they show up or when they come and talk to them. So these are just different perspectives, which is a reflection of what people are assuming within them about that person. So why are some people so nice to some people, but that same person seems not so nice to some other people? That's a really best example because we come across these kind of people all the time. Someone is complimenting them, someone is not complimenting them and saying uh, unpleasant things about them. So that's how we create people based on our assumptions. If you feel someone is not welcoming, not approachable, and that assumption is hardened in your mind, that's how they're going to show up each time. Every time you have to approach them or you have to speak to them, you'll have that assumption come up. And because it will keep reflecting, that's how they're going to keep showing up in your life. However, if you change that perspective, you change that belief about them, that no, they are warm, they are responsive, they are open, they are welcoming. You're going to see those dynamics change. Anything can happen. They can start showing up where they're initiating a conversation with you. And all of a sudden you realize that, yeah, this person is welcoming. Maybe I just went on the face value and I didn't really try talking to this person ever. So things can change in hundreds of ways. But the um, basic point is that people, things, situations, everything in your physical reality, in your 3D world is completely malleable. Everything changes constantly, uh, molds itself, um, shifts itself to ensure that you are getting evidence of your beliefs and the thoughts that are running in your mind. So every time there are beliefs inside you, whether you change them, you keep the same beliefs, the 3D reality has to show that it's the truth. So it will always mold itself in a way that it will align with your belief system. So why does it feel so difficult to process this concept that everyone is you pushed out and there's a lot of misconceptions around this concept as well. 
um, some people like to teach it or learn it in a way where they say that other people don't have their free will or they don't have their own thoughts, their own feelings. It's everything related to you. What you think, feel, they are thinking and feeling. They will feel that, they will think that. So that's not my approach. I don't really see everyone as dummies um, out there in the world who don't have any free will or they don't have thoughts or feelings and they are, you know, lifeless uh, beings. That's not how I approach this in the conscious creation journey. Uh, I know people are there. I know they have free will. Uh, and I know they have their own feelings and emotions. Uh, that does not take away from the fact that they are malleable and situations are malleable. I am so uh, in tune with my inner world that I know that what I reflect can be changed. It has nothing to do with them. I don't have to make them lifeless beings or uh, convince myself they have no feelings and no free will for me to manifest. They have their own world, they have their own thoughts, their own beliefs, fine. That has nothing to do with my manifestation journey. For me, uh, I know there's no separation. That's one really important thing you can understand. Once you create separation from other beings in this world, that's when you will have uh, the feeling of opposition, the feeling of competition, the feeling of putting in too much effort to receive your manifestation. So just coming into that knowing that there's no separation, everyone is one, everyone is one energy, you will start understanding this that it does not matter if someone has free will and they have their own thoughts and feelings, uh, they can have all that going on in their life, but I know what I'm manifesting. I'm going to stay certain in my discipline, in my beliefs, in what I want reflected outside and that's going to turn up. I'm going to cultivate that experience so much within me that they have to start showing up that way. So you don't have to make them lifeless. You have to uh, increase your faith in your manifestation journey, in your manifestation um, practice. That's what you need to do. So now what do you do? How do you change people? It's just completely as same as changing situations or circumstances. Uh, if you want to change a situation, an unpleasant circumstance, you have to work on your beliefs, right? You need to recognize what your limited beliefs are. You need to work on replacing them. You need to persist on, in those beliefs, in those new beliefs. Every time your old beliefs come up, you have to either use techniques or you have to uh, use this inner knowing, uh, practice that inner knowing of knowing that no, this is what I'm replacing the belief with and I know this is going to come and I'm going to persist in this. Cut off that negative thought or that negative replaying of any kind of beliefs and experiences in your mind. The more you persist in it, the more it becomes normal. The more the old beliefs start fading away. They might purge in between because your mind is used to it. But eventually they're going to fade away like anything else. With practice, you're going to start persisting in your new beliefs. And slowly but eventually you're going to see uh, people showing up in that same manner. So test this out uh, with a few people. Um, you can pick up some random people. It can be in a workplace or it can be in your friend circle around whom you don't have any kind of resistance. Because with resistance, you require a lot more practice. But if you just want to convince yourself, you can just pick up a few random people and test this out. When you test it out with random people where you don't have resistance and you see the results really fast because there's no resistance, it's going to increase your confidence and increase your confidence in a way that you know, okay, now even if I have resistance around this person, it's just that I have to put a little more effort, I need to do a little more practice, but it's not impossible. So pick up anyone and if you have any kind of assumptions about them, suppose you have a colleague who always shows up late to meetings or shows up late to work, um, you can pick them up and you can start um, replacing those beliefs with things like no, they're always the first person to join the meeting, they're always on time in the meeting rooms, they never skip a call, they're never late to a meeting. Persist on those beliefs, just try to change the impression about that person and trust me, you're going to see it changed very soon. Pick someone you don't have resistance around and then once you have your results, start practicing it with the people in your reality. And one last thing is to ensure that you are not uh, escaping away from taking the responsibility and accountability that you are the one creating your own reality. Especially if you have started this journey of conscious creation, by now you would have come to that realization that you 
uh, would be able to put in better efforts in changing something, in uh, attracting a better reality. Once you take the responsibility of your current reality and you come to the knowing that everything that is around you uh, is a direct reflection of what you have been playing inside your inner world. Okay, that's all I wanted to discuss in today's video. I really hope this helps you and adds some value in your life and you're able to apply these practices in your life too. In case you have any questions around manifestation, you can leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe before you leave the channel for more engagement. Bye.